the Romeo and Juliet of the Nashi people. Migration of youth. There is a minority group living in the Lijiang area of Yunnan province in southwestern China called the Nashi. The Nashi are a people who have preserved their ancient culture. Since the 7th century, they have preserved Nashi ancient music and hieroglyphics called Dongba script. The Dongba scripture written in these hieroglyphics records their long history and legends that were told from generation to generation. One of these is the tragic romance called Migration of Youth. A long, long time ago, everything on earth, including human beings, migrated down from a divine mountain called Ralwa onto the plains. During the migration, many youth didn't want to follow their parents. They preferred to leave their parents, die with their lovers, and search for the paradise after death. The parents tried to reason with their children, hoping they would migrate with them. But the young lovers were strong-minded and committing suicide for love became a trend among young couples. From that time, parents had no choice but to lock their children inside their homes and build fences to prevent them from escaping and committing suicide. Finally, the teenagers overcame the obstacles and escaped. But not everyone escaped. Some didn't make it out. The main characters in our story are named Zibu Yulangpan and Kang Meijou Mingji, who were lovers. While the young girl escaped with the other young people, the young man was unable to escape. Seeing other couples living happily together, the girl felt lonely. So she asked a crow to take her letter to the young man's parents, telling them that she was pure and good, and asking them to allow him to be with her. However, his parents weren't moved and answered her with malevolent words, which hurt her badly. Also using the excuse that he was busy with work in the fields, the young man did not go to meet her. Broken-hearted, she decided to commit suicide alone. While she was on the bank of a river and ready to take her own life, the river persuaded her not to do so. She went to a cliff intending to jump off. But the cliff told her that there were still a lot of beautiful things in the world and persuaded her not to commit suicide. However, the ghost of love came to tempt her. He told her that people living in the world have lives full of suffering. Instead of staying in this world, she should go to the paradise after death, where she would live happily ever after. The ghost of love saw how vexed she was and told her that everyone in the paradise after death lived with their lovers happily. In the end, the girl was persuaded by the ghost of love and hanged herself in the place he told her to. One day, after the girl's death, the young man was searching for a cow 
and happened upon the girl's cold body. The young man was very sad. He talked with her spirit, poured out his love for her, and even hoped to bring her back to life. She told him that was impossible, and asked him to burn her body so that her spirit could go to the Holy Land where the ghost of love lived. She also told him that after three years, three months, and three days, he could dig up her savings and valuables. Promising to do as she asked, he burned her body as she requested. This tragic romance may seem to end here, but it doesn't. The young man didn't wait for three years, three months, and three days. Instead, he immediately dug up her money and valuables. For that reason, her ghost came back and took his soul away. Thus, the people had to hold a ceremony called the Wind Worship Ceremony to release his soul from purgatory and allow him to return to normal. The Nashi call this story Ruberusa, which in the Nashi language means Migration of Youth. This romantic tragedy is still being told by the Nashi people in the Lijiang area of Yunnan province to this day. <laughs>